Richard. Hello. I'm, we are going through today about our spiritual gift workshop. And as we know, your spiritual gift is creative communication. And we would like to know, we have two basic questions for you, is what did God reveal to you by taking the spiritual gift workshop? And how are you using this gift to glorify God and edify others? Well, uh, one of the things he revealed is that I haven't been utilizing my spiritual gift as much as I should have or could have. So it's made me a little more conscious of what I need to do in that area. Uh, I'm also reminded as I think back on this type of gift that it really is a gift. When I write, it takes me twice as long to copy something I've written before than it does to write something original if the inspiration is there. Yeah. Because then all I have to do is write. I don't have to read. I don't have to double check. I just have to listen as God's talking to me. And we also have, uh, you have presented to us when Peg and you and I had our consultation that you have written a song. And you kind of put a rap tune to it as well. And we would like for you to present that to our congregation today. All right. This song, or rap as you call it, <laughs> uh, it's called, Are You Playing That Game? Are you playing that game with the devil again? You know the one where you never can win? Where he does the tempting and you do the sin? Are you playing that game with the devil again? I know the game, I've played it too. I've played it with others, then played it with you. I played with a passion as I played with you. And the devil knew he had us too. I played with my life and those of my friends. I caused others strife to reach my own ends. Yes, I played the game and played it so well. It seems so like heaven yet ended in hell. Are you playing that game with the devil again? You know the one where you never can win? Where he does the tempting and you do the sin? Are you playing that game with the devil again? Give up the game and give up the sin. You know with the devil you never can win. Turn lust to love and let peace come in. Don't play that game with the devil again. And Richard, what have you thought about how this song has helped you or helped others? In one way, it's been just kind of an introduction to the fact that I have written some songs. Uh, this one, I'd say, was highly inspirational. I was going through a time of, in my life where I kind of need to get my priorities together again. And actually, uh, wrote this in the car driving down the road, so I know it wasn't a work of art. I was just listening to what was being said to me. My daughter was taking notes in the back seat of the car. We stopped for lunch. I finished the song while my kids were playing video games. They can tell us a few years back. <laughs> And so how would you say this, that you are using this gift of com creative communication to glorify God and edify others? Well, I have kids ask me at times, why do I do this? And I say it's my way of showing that people are worth paying attention to. It also becomes a little more specific ministry, for example, we went on a mission trip to help build a church in Arkansas. I put together a booklet after we got back and was able to give it to one of the church members that went on the trip the night before he died. And it, it meant something to me that I was able to mean something to him because he said he loved it. Well, thank you, Richard, and we greatly appreciate what the spiritual gift that, that God has given you and how you're using it here in the church and in other areas of your life. Thank, thank you. you.